Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back to the Fox Critic. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a movie review on Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This is the 25th film inside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was released in 2021. It stars a bunch of people whose names I can't pronounce. And it follows martial arts master Shang-Chi who must confront the past he thought he left behind when he's drawn into the web of the mysterious Ten Rings organization. Also, I'm sorry about the fact that this review is very late. Um, I get the fact this came out like very early last month, but I just haven't got around to reviewing it. But I thought with Eternals coming out soon, my as well review this film now. So without further ado, let's start talking about the positives of the film. And the first thing I want to say here is that this film has some of the best action out of any MCU film we've seen recently. Some of the action in the previous MCU films have been kind of repetitive, kind of similar, but this absolutely takes the action scenes in a whole new direction with the martial arts and everything. It's got some greatly choreographed fight scenes, uh, there is one sequence in this movie which is a fight scene on a bus which I absolutely loved, it's an amazing sequence. If you've been hating the action in the recent MCU films, you'll probably like the action scenes in this one because they are different and they are, they're just really really good action scenes compared to some of the previous MCU films. I think the characters here are also good. Um, Shang-Chi himself is an interesting enough character, I can't wait to see him return in our future MCU films and the relationship between him and Katie, who is his friend in the film, uh, is really good and it never feels forced and the two of them are a lot of fun to watch whenever they are on screen together. The performances are all good and there's even a nice little cameo from Wong from Doctor Strange in the movie, uh, which I really liked and that's not a spoiler obviously because it was in the trailers. Also, the movie looks really nice, um, the cinematography is really good, the CGI is quite good, um, and there are a couple nice uh, fantasy locations done with CGI. Uh, in the film. And another good thing with this film is the fact that it feels like a fresh new beginning to the MCU. Considering the fact that the first film of Phase 4 was Black Widow, which was literally should be should have been like a Phase 2 or Phase 3 movie, um, this feels like a fresh new beginning to Phase 4 and it feels like what should have been the first, the opening film of Phase 4. Since we've had Avengers Endgame and the Infinity Saga of the MCU is over now, this feels like a good new beginning to the next era of the MCU. But now let's start talking about the negatives of the film. And while I did say that the movie feels like a fresh start to uh, the next era of the MCU, that was basically just in comparison to the fact that Black Widow was the first film out of the phase four of the MCU. And I just thought the film felt like such generic formulaic MCU stuff. And I'm talking about like the phase two, phase three formula, like the, the MCU humor and the CGI stuff. And I honestly really didn't like that considering the fact that it had the opportunity to be something completely different and take the MCU in a completely new direction, and it basically just didn't do that. I honestly thought the film felt like such wasted opportunity and wasted potential, because don't get me wrong, I love what they did with the, the martial arts action and stuff, that was different, that was unique, but I feel like the rest of the film just wasn't in terms of the sort of MCU formula and stuff. This film felt like a real chance to just reinvent the MCU, and I was really hoping it would do that, but it didn't. And even what it was, in my opinion, the best scene of the movie, which was the uh, the bus fight I was talking about earlier, even that ends with CGI and some big CGI battle. And things like that is just real wasted potential for the movie, in my opinion. Another thing here is that the actual Ten Rings organisation and the villains of the movie, I felt like was just kind of forgettable and just not, not all that memorable. I felt I just thought it was quite forgettable. But honestly, this is the least I've had to say about any MCU film in a long time. Uh, I just do not have a lot to say about this film. Uh, there aren't really that many positives and there aren't really that many negatives. I think it's just kind of sort of mid-tier MCU film due to the fact that it feels so formulaic. I'm sorry about the fact this review is so short, but I really do not have a lot to say about this movie. I don't think there are a lot of positives, and I also do not think there are a lot of negatives. Um, but what I do have to say about it is that it's not a bad MCU film. Uh, I've, I thought it was just too formulaic for my liking, but honestly, it's a really entertaining MCU film. It's never boring. The action is amazing. It's loads of fun to watch. And it's just a really, really entertaining MCU film, and I did have a blast watching it, and at the end of the day, I think that's what MCU films are meant to be, entertaining superhero films. So overall, I'm giving Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings a 7.5 out of 10, which is the same score I gave Black Widow, um, and I know a load of people are going to hate me for uh, saying this is sort of the same level as Black Widow. Um, interestingly enough, this is the best reviewed MCU film out of any of them uh, on the audience score or on Tomatoes. Um, this is definitely a fan favourite MCU film. Uh, that's for sure. Um, but honestly, I, I'm not too crazy over it, Um, but I, I did enjoy it. I did have fun with it. So yeah, that's all I have to say about it. So thank you very much for watching this review. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe if you want to. If you have seen this film, do feel free to let me know your opinions on it in the comment section below. And until next time, bye bye.